Let's break down a whole chicken using our effing sharp chef's knife. This task is going to save you big money on the back end and only cost you minutes in the kitchen. Let's start with the leg and thigh. Go ahead and grab onto one of the legs and you're going to pull back on the thigh until the joint pops out of the socket. We're going to use the natural curvature of the protein, or in this case the bird, and go ahead and cut away the thigh from the main bird and that is going to have you with one section not completely broken down yet, but you're going to see we have the leg and thigh completely removed from the chicken so far. Let's do that again on the other side, grabbing the leg, looking for the natural curvature from the bird. We're going to start slicing downwards at an angle of about 45 degrees, grab the back of the chicken thigh, push upwards, and that's going to dislocate that bone from the socket and then following again the natural kind of curvature there we're just going to cut down towards the main bird cutting away the skin and separating our leg and thigh let's go ahead and remove the thigh from the leg turning it upside down you'll see the exposed bone that's going to point in the direction on where it meets the joint then you'll see the natural curve of the leg you're going to use that as a guide to where to start your knife once you hit that joint, slowly start cutting until you feel that it gives you the least resistance. You don't want to fight it. Your knife is going to do the work here. It should go through pretty effortlessly. And then as you can see, I have a separated leg and thigh. Let's do that one more time. We're going to take our thigh and leg connected, turn it upside down, where we have that exposed bone, which is going to point into the direction of where it meets the joint. Turn it back over and you'll see where that natural curve of the leg is going to go and this will be a guide for where to start slicing with your knife. Once you meet that joint, you can go ahead and separate it also to see where your knife should be in order to go effortlessly through separating your thigh from the leg. Let's move that to the side. Now we're going to work on removing the wings. Simply grab the main part of the bird, grab underneath the wing where it connects, and that is going to be the joint that will simply pop for location, grab your knife, simply cut away exposing that joint, and then as you're working it, pushing from behind, popping up the joint, you're going to work your chef's knife, cutting out the wing from the bird. Let's do that again with the other side. Let's grab the main bird, locate the wing, we're going to use our hand from behind, and using the curvature as a guide, we're gonna take our chef's knife and cut down to where we assume that joint is. And as soon as we locate it, it should come away effortlessly. Let's go ahead and take off the breasts. We are going to use another giveaway point. We're gonna locate the breast by seeing that curvature there. We're gonna see that there is this natural fat line running down underneath the bottom side of the breast and use that as a guide to where to place your chef's knife and start cutting. Again, it should come through effortlessly. We're cutting away some of the rib cage there, but your chef's knife should do all the work. We're gonna continue with the other side. Again, following that natural fat line, locating the breast itself and seeing that curve. And then that fat line as a guide with our chef's knife, we're gonna cut down maybe at about a 45 degree angle and effortlessly cut through the rib cage, exposing both breasts on either side. This next part takes just a little finagling, but is not difficult. We have the breasts that are still attached to the bone. You'll see me pull it back here. What I'm looking to do is separate the rib cage and backbone from the breast bone. Now, just a few strokes of the knife until I find that there's a give. I'll go ahead and take my right hand, holding on to the rib cage and the backbone and I'll pull gently. Once that separates enough, I'm going to go ahead and take my knife and just cut away at the skin, separating the breasts. Once we have complete separation, we're going to go ahead and turn the breasts, keeping it with the breastbone faced up because we're going to take our chef's knife and we're gonna run it right down the middle. This is gonna give you some resistance and this is where you'll have to have a little bit of pressure. But once you go ahead and separate the breastplate, you'll have your two bone-in, skin-on chicken breasts separated for your use. 
we're going to angle our breastbone facing upwards, go right into the middle with your chef's knife, and with some force, you're going to push straight down into the breastplate. It will have some give there, but your knife is going to do the work for you. Go ahead and slice away at the skin, and now you have two bone-in, skin-on chicken breasts. Great part is, nothing goes to waste. You have your backbone, where you can use that for an awesome homemade chicken stock. You have your bone-in, skin-on chicken breasts. Well, let's grab our thighs here, place them in the front. We also have our separated chicken legs, and then finally our chicken wings. And now you have a whole broken down chicken saving you big money at the grocery store by doing some butchering yourself.